hi guys in today's video i'll be showing you my natural hair journey from childhood to adulthood i just wanted to show you how my hair looked like as a kid and i wanted to show you my setbacks and i wanted to inspire or encourage anyone who is on their natural hair journey and give some tips as well so as a kid i had very kinky and coily hair i think in this picture i was about two years old and my mom always used to do my hair every Sunday and I would have that hairstyle in for about a week and then she would redo it. In this picture, I think I was three years old. In this picture, I was four years old. And looking back at these pictures, I laugh so hard because a lot of black girls around my age had the same hairstyles and they were so cute. <laughs> so yeah, that was my hair at four and this is how my hair looked like at five years old and people have asked me about my parents ethnicity and um, how they look like so this is how my parents um this is how my parents look like um as you can see we're fully black my mom had relaxed hair for most of her life she recently went natural about two years ago but she's always had relaxed hair from what I remembered in childhood. My mom didn't relax my hair until I was about seven years old. But when I was seven, we moved to Ghana. And in Ghana, it was mandatory that you had your hair in cornrows. So around the age seven to 13, I only had my hair in cornrows and I don't have those pictures but at some point i got bored and i shaved my hair off because my friend did that and i thought she looked cute so i did the same thing as well and i knew that it's mandatory for me to shave my hair off anyways at some point when i get to boarding school when i'm 15 so i didn't mind doing that so when i was about 17 years old we moved to england and i had to regrow my hair but at that time i was only relaxing my hair so my mom would relax my hair and then I would put my hair in braids. So in this picture, I think my hair was text laxed. <laughs> it wasn't fully relaxed yet. But as you can see, I always wore my hair in braids to protect my hair. And I didn't know how to style it either, even though it was relaxed. So I always had my hair in a bun or in braids. So this was the longest my hair ever got and I remember people would be asking me is that all your hair oh my gosh you've got long hair <laughs> God in heaven was thinking hmm my daughter go natural go natural I will show you proper length because this is nothing you have the potential to grow longer hair but you're sitting here doing relax relax okay <laughs> so at some point I grew tired of the relaxes um I remember once I got my hair relaxed and I got properly burnt and I had like scars on my scalp and I was like no more I'm done with this creamy crack <laughs> I don't know you anymore <laughs> so I decided to go natural um but I tried to go natural about about three times but each time I had to go back to the creamy crack because it was so hard to detangle my hair and I didn't do a big chop so I was struggling so I transitioned for about how long was it for a year and almost four months and then I decided to do the big chop but it wasn't really a big chop because most of my relaxed hair had broken off so this is a video of my friend who helped me do the big chop and that's how my hair looked the following month. And I used to wear my hair in very shrunken hairstyles. So that was my hair one year and six months later. So two months after I had big chopped my hair. And I had very kinky, coily, thick hair. And I liked how my hair looked. Um, I didn't want a specific hair texture when I went natural I was just hoping that my hair would be thick and luckily it was but because I was wearing my hair in a lot of shrunken hairstyles my hair was breaking off very frequently and I thought it was normal because I didn't have any close friends who 
went natural i just went natural from watching natural hair videos and journeys so that was what inspired me so i mainly wore my hair in an afro and in cornrows as well but my hair was breaking off so i decided to do twists and do twist outs so that i can stretch out my hair more because i realized that the shrunken hairstyles even though they're so cute and so majestic and afros are beautiful my hair was breaking off so i decided to stretch my hair using african threading or twist outs and that's when i actually started to retain the length so this is a twist out and this was probably a braid out but <laughs> There was still a lot of water in my hair so it wasn't like a proper braid out and that's a braid out with cornrows but now i don't do cornrows anymore because i feel like the tension that it puts on my hair is too much and when i'm installing it and removing it i feel like i'm losing a lot of hair in the process and that was the last shrunken hairstyle that i did when i stopped wearing my hair in shrunken hairstyles i saw so much length retention i saw my hair growing and thriving and i was so happy this was around december 2020 and i always made sure that after i've had my hair out for like two weeks i would rebraid my hair and my auntie would install the braids very gently and it wasn't too tight so my edges weren't coming off and my hair was growing and thriving i would make sure that after i do my protective style and remove it i will wash deep condition it and properly moisturize it and also one thing i need to add was in the past i would think oils equal to moisturizing my hair but that was not enough because you need water which is the main element to moisturize your hair therefore me learning how to properly moisturize my hair in between protective styles definitely helped me grow my hair longer and retain length this is how my hair looked after removing braids from my hair and also this is a hairstyle which i did by using african threading method to stretch my hair so fast forward to 2021 august i decided to let my hair down let my hair breathe and wear my hair out more often this is a braid out and around september 2021 i realized that my hair has grown significantly and my hair was very thick in december 2021 i went to ghana and i had my hair out quite often in the first week so most of the time i would do braid outs on my hair and it was six braids on my hair so that it will give my hair a very fluffy thick braid out just like the way i like it i don't really like the small defined braid out i like the fluffy braid out so that's what i did but um in the last three weeks that i was there i had my hair in twists or braids because i love to swim so i wanted a hairstyle where i can easily go into the water with and not worry about damaging my hair because of the chlorine in the water so i just got my hair braided and twisted but i did that twice so the first braids were not actually braids they were twists and the second time i had braids and each time oh my gosh these hair stylists were so rough <laughs> with my hair and they claim to be natural hair experts but they were really rough with my hair i would tell them that they were being too aggressive with my hair but they were telling me, oh, beauty is pain. That's just how it is. But I was telling them it shouldn't be this painful. And one person wanted to braid my hair completely dry without any products. And I told her I have my products with me, but she didn't want to apply it onto my hair. I had to tell her I would leave if she doesn't apply products onto my hair. And that's when she finally applied products on my hair. <laughs> I received a lot of breakage at the end even though i kept the last braids for about three months but i realized that i had a lot of breakage um when i removed my braids so i kept um like i said the braids in for three months and afterwards i was just wearing hair buns and um 
updos because I just wanted to make sure that my ends were tucked away. So I wasn't really wearing my hair down as much as I would. This was my hair back in March after I had removed the braids. My hair was thinner and it had broken off. I did a trim before the picture but I still need to trim more. Nowadays I wear my hair in twists because it is very easy to install and I have access to my scalp so I can easily massage my scalp and stimulate hair growth and I feel like it keeps my hair moisturized for longer. I will be showing you my hair massing tips on how I am strengthening my hair and retaining length. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Until next time. Bye.